हेलो एवरीवन टूडेज टॉपिक इज सेकेंडरी लिम्फॉयड टिश्यूज सेकेंडरी लिम्फॉयड टिश्यूज मे बी अ डिफ्यूज कलेक्शन ऑफ लिम्फोसाइट्स एंड मैक्रोफेजेस और ऑर्गेनाइज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लिम्फॉयड फॉलिकल्स लिम्फॉयड फॉलिकल्स आर मास ऑफ लिम्फॉयड एंड नॉन लिम्फॉयड सेल्स surrounded by a system of draining lymphatic capillaries there are two types of lymphoid follicles primary lymphoid follicle and secondary lymphoid follicles primary lymphoid follicles are smaller in size and consist of a network of follicular dendritic cells and small resting b cells secondary follicles are larger in size and are activated lymphoid follicles they have a ring of concentrically packed b lymphocytes surrounding the germinal center germinal center is a center of proliferating b lymphocytes along with a region of non proliferating b cells along with some helper t cells interspersed with macrophages and follicular dendritic cells most antigen activated b cells divide and differentiate into antibody producing plasma cells in lymphoid follicles but a very few b lymphocytes enter into germinal centers only those b cells are selected for entry in germinal center that have strong antigen binding capacity inside germinal center b lymphocytes differentiate into plasma cells or memory cells there are two types of secondary lymphoid tissues lymphoid organs and lymphoid tissues example of lymphoid organs are lymph nodes and spleen while example of lymphoid tissue is mucosal associated lymphoid tissue lymph nodes in this diagram various lymph nodes are depicted lymph nodes are dark purple dots while these green dots are lymph nodes present in facial region of man this is an enlarged view of lymph node they are encapsulated bean shaped structure and present at the junction of lymphatic vessels these are three lymphatic vessels lymph nodes are divided into different zones this white area is cortex zone this blue area is paracortex zone while red and light pink area is medullary zone these three layers have different micro environment in the cortex zone b cells are primarily located in the follicle and germinal centers helper t cells are abundant in paracortex region macrophages and dendritic cells are present in the cortex and paracortex region antibody producing plasma cells are abundant in medullary region paracortex region is also called thymus dependent area while cortex region is called thymus independent area in this diagram lymphocytes circulating 
in the lymph are carried into the node by afferent lymphatic vessel they either enter the reticular matrix of the node or pass through it via efferent artery <coughs> function of lymph node is to encounter antigens that enter the tissue space antigen is carried to the lymph node by lymph in the paracortex it is trapped processed and presented by interdigitating dendritic cells enabling the activation of helper t cells hence large number of lymphocytes are produced along with high amount of antibodies these lymphocytes and antibodies are carried away by lymph via efferent lymphatic vessel spleen spleen is located in the left abdominal cavity above the stomach it is an ovoid encapsulated structure in this diagram this light yellow color is capsule projections or trabeculae are extended from capsule into the interior forming a number of compartments there are two types of compartments in spleen red pulp and white pulp in red pulp network of sinusoids are found macrophages large number of erythrocytes and few lymphocytes are also present as red pulp is rich in erythrocytes and it is a site for degradation of old and defective erythrocytes white pulp is rich in t lymphocytes b lymphocytes and macrophages in this diagram is uh, there is a white pulp surrounds the branches of the splenic artery forming a periarterial lymphoid sheet it is light sky in color and is located located in the light pink arterial branch region these are primary follicles and are attached to periarterial lymphoid sheet they are rich in b lymphocytes while periarterial lymphoid sheet is rich in t lymphocytes this white area is marginal zone and is rich in lymphocytes and macrophages activation of b and t cells in the spleen occurs in the periarterial lymphoid sheet in pass interdigitating dendritic cells trap antigen 
combine it with class 2 mhc molecules and present it to helper t cells activated helper t cells in turn induce b cell activity activated b cells along with some helper t cells migrate to primary follicles present in marginal zone upon antigenic challenge primary follicles converted into secondary follicles with germinal centers b cells and plasma cells start rapid proliferation for combating antigen function of spleen is to filter blood and trap blood borne antigen it respond to systemic for infection so today we see the secondary lymphoid tissues thank you